Hey beautiful, welcome back to the channel, Ari here. Today, as you can see from the thumbnail, we are going to be doing a review of a very special perfume by one of our fellow YouTubers, AI The Great, and it is a collab with Navitas, and the perfume is Ambrosia Imperial. Just the name alone is gorgeous. Let's get into it. <music> So let me just start by saying I have been waiting for this perfume I, and when it came on in the mail, when I saw what it was, I tore into it. I tore into it. I had to try it out. I tried it out and then I let it sit and I wore it and then I let it sit and I came back another day and I tried it again, wore it again, you guys, and it's giving me the same thing every time. Thanks to AI The Great and shout out to you, girl, because you are doing your thing. Let's go ahead and get into it. But as you guys have may have seen, this is the packaging. Isn't that beautiful? So this slides off. And then you have this box. Look at it. I am keeping the box. Look at it. Okay, so then that opens. And... You take this box out that slides out like that, and oh, look at her! Isn't she gorgeous? Isn't she gorgeous, baby? I'm keeping this box. Do you hear me? It is so beautiful. I mean, just everything about it is so nice, top tier, beautiful quality. So, let's go ahead and get into it. So, inside the box, here we have all of the notes, all of the key ingredients. Perfume is described as sexy, seductive, and captivating, which is totally 100% correct. The top notes are banana, rum, Brazilian orange, Ceylon cinnamon, and Davana. The heart notes are dates, orchid, jasmine, and amberwood. The base notes are caramel, vanilla, whipped cream, benzoin, musk, and saffron. You guys, this perfume is multifaceted, multi-layered. Let me just spray. And I want you guys to see something. I want you guys to see. When I spray this, look at that. Do you see? Baby, it's not skipping a beat. Oh my goodness. The banana on the opening. Oh my goodness. Such a sweet, beautiful, full aroma. And I also pick up some rum, but it's just a tad bit of rum. It's not, it's not overpowering. Oh my goodness, you guys. And when I tell you this scent stays on you and if you spray it on your clothes it's going to be on your clothes for days i know <laughs> it is so beautiful captivating mesmerizing all-encompassing it is so beautiful hey you did that girl you did that I am in love with this, you guys. I have been wearing it. I've been putting my little dent in it already. So it is 12.5 ml. And you guys, this perfume gives rich. It gives luxurious. It gives extravagant. It is everything. I mean, it is everything. It was definitely worth my pennies. I have been enjoying wearing this one. I really wanted to take my time to wear it. Like I said before, I got on here and did a review and I am in love. This is so, so good. So on initial spray, like I said, you're definitely going to pick up a sweet banana, a true banana, not that artificial smell, but a true banana and you're going to get some rum. Now the rum is not overpowering, but it's a bit it's just the right amount. It's just the right amount, but you're going to pick up a little bit of that. But on the dry down, you guys, I mean, I pick up so much more. I pick up all of the other notes. I pick up the caramel, the whipped cream, the vanilla, the saffron. It is 
so beautiful. And I think about her name, the way she picked that name, Ambrosia Imperial. Did you ever, you ever ate Ambrosia before? My mom used to make Ambrosia salad. I loved it. And it would be like fruit cocktail. And then she would add in some fresh grapes and maybe some apples and whipped cream and coconut, raisins, just everything. It was just so good. It was like a fruit salad. I get it. I get why she named it that because it's everything, you guys. It's it's so luscious. It's it's beautiful. But at the same time, it's not like a it's not like a body mist. It's definitely giving expensive, extravagant perfume. It is so nice. But I get why she named it Ambrosia. So I have to say, another reason I was really taking my time with this perfume is because I watch AI's channel. I love her channel and I know what type of perfume she likes and I know she's like beast mode. She's a beast mode perfume type of person. A lot of people are. I, on the other hand, I like my perfume to kind of sneak up on you. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not the type that actually like to leave a trail, but I want you to smell me. I want you to say I smell good, but um, I don't have things that are ex extra, extra strong. So I was worried about that. So if you're like me, you ain't got to worry about it. This was perfect. I don't need a lot. I don't need a lot. Just a couple of squirts on my post points and baby that's all you need so i think this is gonna last me for a minute i don't think i'm gonna have to just be spending too much too many more coins would i repurchase it absolutely but i don't need a lot of it you don't need a lot of this you do not need a lot for it to last and trust me you will not need a lot a lot for the smell to carry others will definitely smell you hear me they will definitely know that you're there. On top of that, the perfume is so unusual and so different from anything that most people have ever smelled. They're going to ask you, what do you have on? What's in it? They're going to have all of those questions. I'm expecting that, okay? I'm expecting that. And I cannot wait to try to layer it with different things. Because as I mentioned before, I prefer to have perfumes that stand alone. Ambrosia Imperial stands alone all day, all night, all day the next day, okay? She's beautiful by herself, so I cannot imagine her with other combinations, other fruit combinations especially, because I think that would just be so beautiful. I cannot wait to layer it. I've been seeing other people layering it, but I'm going to do my thing too. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope make sure that you leave me a comment down below and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Take care.